Today, we're going to be talking about extracted properties. So when I bring up the search page, you're going to see a lot of clicks on this car tile right here. And you know, thankfully, what this means is that when people land on a search page, the most common thing that they do is they engage with the search tile. Now, all of these search tiles right now are being grouped into representing just this one click, right? Just this one tile. So all the clicks on all of these tiles describe this click right here. But I want to map what is the order of tiles that receives the most interaction. So what I'm going to do is rather than mapping the entire page, I'm going to map a specific element. And that specific element is the search page car tile. Awesome. So now I only have clicks on this primary element right there. All the rest of them are being ignored. But we want position. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go back here and look at the click type. It's going to be looking at all clicks and I'm going to group by an element property. Which property am I going to group by? Well, these are the properties that are available to be grouped by when it comes to the search page car tile. I'm going to use the tile position as my click action. And now you can see that we are breaking apart this search page into all of its individual tiles, only the ones that matter the most to me. Most clicked on thing for uh, the page is the first car on the list. Second most clicked on is the second car on the list. The third most clicked on, <clears throat> third car on the list, so on and so forth. I can also answer a question like, well, what about pricing? What's the most attractive pricing to people? Well, let's, let's dimension this by price. Now we have all of our car tiles, but you can see that 140 a day is the most common interacted with. You also see that 130 is the second most, and then 200 is the third most, which would indicate to me that luxury cars at $200 a day are actually more uh, they receive more interaction, they're more enticing to shoppers than really cheap cars. We actually have, you know, right below that, we have number four is $50 a day. So this is your economy car. This is your luxury car. Okay. Now this isn't the only place that these can be leveraged. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over and I'm going to create a metric. Now my metric right now is going to be looking at <clears throat> all clicks on the search page car tile. And you can see there are those three properties that we were looking at a minute ago, with a couple of different versions of price and then tile position and then car name. So I'm gonna look at only clicks on the search page car tile, but let's dimension that by car name. Now what we see is the most common engaged with car name on this page is the Audi Allroad. Now this is important because it looks like this car probably was just listed on the site and then it was immediately booked. It got some interaction, 230 or so a day, and then it got booked and now it's considered unavailable. This is looking at all clicks on those tiles. It is not just looking at people clicking on the text that exists on that those tiles because the text doesn't exist on the whole tile. It just exists at the top on, on the tile title. But this is taking any click on a tile and it's looking at the attribute that lives in that title and it's ascribing that attribute's value to the whole tile, not just the title where it exists. You can do the same thing on the filter amenities. Here's your filter amenities. I'm going to dimension this by which amenity people are clicking on. All wheel drive is the most commonly clicked on thing that people are filtering for on search pages. Now, again, if I were to go into any of these sessions, let's say all wheel drive, look at somebody do this. This person doesn't actually have to click on the word all wheel drive. This person just needs to click on any one of those tiles, anywhere on those tiles. That person right there clicked on the, the steering wheel and that specific filter amenity was ascribed as a value to that specific tile. Anything can be extracted. You can extract as many values as you want. This happens post-processing on our side, does not happen on the client. So anything that you want to extract can be extracted. And that is how you would utilize and demonstrate the extraction of website properties for use in analytics.